Hello everyone, Rice Time 911 here, and today we're going to learn how to add passenger script to a mod. So let's get to it. So first thing you're going to want to do is go into the description of this video that you're watching right now and find the passenger script pack and download that because in it you'll find everything you need to add passenger script to your mod the sample code, the script itself, as well as the character and all the other parts and bits you'll need. Okay, so go ahead and download that and you'll be ready to go. Okay, so now that you got the passenger script pack, what do you do with it? Well, first of all, you should have your mod just like this, all unzipped and ready to go so that you can work on it nicely. And you're going to want to have a scripts folder to put your script for passenger script in. So if you don't already have a scripts folder in your mod, go new folder, create one and rename it to scripts. And in there you can put all the scripts you want to use. So for instance, before version 3, I think that's German for passenger or something, I don't know. But anyway, you can copy that script and move it into your scripts folder, just like so. So now you'll see it's in your scripts folder, the script that you need for a passenger script to work. Okay, now what else do you need? Well, there's also this file here, Bifferer, and it's basically just the farmer character, a nickname node, and a camera, which will be used for the passenger in game. So it's basically just a pack to help you put in the passenger properly. So you're going to want to copy that over as well. And pretty much that's all you need to do to get set up. Okay, so I'm just going to open up. Here's our XML. And here's our mod desk. Okay, so. Here's our mod desk entries notepad. So basically what we're going to need to do is we're going to copy some of these lines of code into where they should be. In the mod desk. Okay, so. Here we see specialization name equals, and that German word again, V3, and all this goodness. Well, basically what you got to do is in between specializations, copy this. So if you haven't got a specialization section in your mod, you'll copy basically the whole thing. So you'll copy this whole block. So let's say you didn't have a specializations block, which I do, which a block just basically means this whole thing here. So if I didn't have this, let's say I didn't have that, I just paste this right in with the specializations takes, like that. With that in between. Okay, but I do have a section for specialization, so we're going to go ahead and copy this specialization and paste it in between the specializations takes. So between these two, we're going to put this. No, wait, this. Okay, so basically that's how it works. Now, under vehicle types, and basically what it means here is we're going to add a specialization name under these type names. So here we see type name and all this. Well, we're going to add a new specialization name, and that is before V3 or whatever, or however you pronounce that. Okay, so now we added that, the specialization name. Now what we're going to do is go to 10N, and as you can see, we have that right here. And once again, if we didn't have a 10N, we could just add this whole section. But since we do have a 10N, we're just gonna go ahead and make some space here. And we're gonna add in these sections. So there we go. And basically what this does is in the menu in game, it tells you when you get close to the vehicle, press enter, or press some button, E, to enter. Yeah, that's usually it. Okay, so basically this just puts a little thing on the screen that tells you you can get in the vehicle. Okay, so there we go. Now we pretty much got everything all set up in the mod desk, so now we can go over to the XML. Okay, so now in the XML, which this file right here, now we're going to go down to the bottom of this file, the XML, 
And just before this last vehicle bit, we're going to make a little bit of space for ourselves. And now we're going to open up the XML entries sample code, which is, remember, this right here in the passenger script pack, XML entries. Okay, so now we have this code here. So let's just go ahead and copy it all. And why did we copy it all? Because we were pretty sure we didn't already have a section for passenger script because we didn't have the script till now. So that's why we add the whole thing. Okay, so anyway, now this pretty much finishes up it up for us because now we got the XML. It's got our entry for passenger script and in the mod desk we got all our entries for pa passenger script. So now we're pretty much good to go. But there's still we need to look in the i3d so that we can get our indexes to set this all up properly. And also unless you're going to have two passengers or more like to have more than two passengers you would copy this and paste it again and just change the indexes but since we're only going to do one passenger for now so we're just going to have one section in the XML for a passenger so only one okay so good now let's save our mod desk and our XML and now let's head over to the i3d okay so in case you didn't know this is i3d and we're just going to go ahead and open it and basically what we're just going to do is import that remember that file we got off the passenger script pack before well basically we're just going to import some stuff from there okay so we see here this before air folder which we have in our mod all set up we go and import the i3d file from that and basically what this is doing is it's giving us a whole bunch of farmers that we can arrange in our vehicle to use as passengers. So basically when someone gets in the vehicle, it'll take a farmer and put him in there as them. Okay, so we only need one farmer. So we're going to delete the other three. I just shift clicked it, the all of them, and then delete them. Okay, so now we're going to go Control X, cut it, and Control V, paste it within the vehicle's group. And now, we have our passenger at the bottom of the vehicle group. Okay, cool. So now basically what we gotta do is find the index of the farmer and the nickname and the camera. So here we have the farmer, this is a nickname, and this is a camera. Okay, so let's copy the index path of the farmer. So basically that's just a 350 and you find index paths in attributes transform and window attributes that's where you find it okay so now we're going to copy that index path and you see where it says here farmer node well that's our farmer he's at 0350 see he's at 0350 like that okay now the nickname we're going to copy the index path for that and it says nickname node index so obviously that's at 351 as we can see here nickname 351 now our camera so this is a camera that the person the passenger sees from in game so we copy the index path of that and we paste it in for camera index and that's 352 so okay now we got all our indexes correct now it's all good in the XML and the mod desk, we're all done because all the code lines up. Now all we need to do is arrange our farmer inside the vehicle so it actually looks like he's sitting inside of it instead of up in the air somewhere. So we're just going to move him back and down inside the car somewhere. And since I'm thinking of having it as a person you catch or something, I'm just going to put him in the back seat because he's a criminal or something. All right, so we're going to put him back there and he can chill out. Now, you try and get them in comfortable, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay, so we'll just put him in there, just like so. Okay, now we have our guy, he's sitting in there in the back and he's just chilling. All right, he's good to go. Now let's save our i3d file. And yeah, we should be all good to go. Just close that 
and our XML and all that stuff. And now all that's really left to do is just zip it back up. So we're just going to take all this stuff, put it back in the zip of our mod. And there we go. Our passenger should now show up in game when we go and go in game. Someone should be able to get in the vehicle with us. Alrighty, so let's go check that out. Alright, so now that we're in game, let's give it a go and see if our passenger script works. Get it? Okay, so it works. There you go. Awesome. So now we've got passenger script in our mod and it works, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole point of it. That works, so yeah, if you followed all the steps in this tutorial, yours should work too. Should. But if it doesn't, then leave a comment in the comments section below and I'll try and help you if I can. Alright, so that does it for this video, and I do hope this tutorial has helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and check out my other tutorials on my channel as well. So yeah, that's all for now. Bye.